I'm Christine Niles. Today's November 3rd, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Chicago's Cardinal is being blasted for honoring an accused cleric. On November 1st, Cardinal Blaise Supich held a memorial in honor of former Chicago Cardinal Joseph Bernardine on the 25th anniversary of his death. Bernardine was accused of raping a minor in 1957 in a case acknowledged by the Vatican. In violation of the state attorney general's request, Supich never reported the abuse allegations during Illinois' criminal probe into clergy sex abuse. The U.S. bishops are urging America to keep the southern border wide open. U.S. Bishops Migration Chairman Bishop Mario Dorsonville issued a statement yesterday lauding Biden's administration for attacking the Trump-era Remain in Mexico policy again. Church Milton has exposed the many millions in federal dollars the bishops receive annually for their migration services, even taking part in illegal immigrant relocation programs here in the U.S. Turning to the U.K., bishops there are urging Catholics to save the planet. The Bishops' Conference of England and Wales issued a statement Monday labeling the world's so-called environmental crisis a Catholic issue, one day after the start of Scotland's Global Climate Summit, COP26. The bishops wrote, We know that we need to act globally to protect the, the biodiversity of this earth and all of God's creation that depends on it. In related news, the commander-in-chief is asleep at the wheel. Critics are blasting Biden for taking a nap Monday during the climate summit. Leftist media calling the incident, quote, embarrassing. Americans called Biden's mental fitness into question after his repeated blunders before and after assuming office, earning him the nickname Sleepy Joe. This latest incident appears to be cementing that reputation. Thousands of New York City firefighters continue to protest the vaccine mandate. Yesterday, Mayor Bill de Blasio announced about 2,500 city firefighters, 23 percent, have not received the jab. A number of firefighters are requesting religious exemptions, and 2,300 called in sick yesterday in protest of the forced vaccine. The sick out comes five days after firefighters protested the vaccine mandate outside de Blasio's residence. Two U.S. senators are affirming the universal dignity of human life. Republican Senators Steve Daines of Montana and James Lankford of Oklahoma introduced a measure Thursday to mark one year since the pro-life Geneva Consensus Resolution was signed by 32 countries. The Trump-era resolution affirms there is no international right to abortion. But Biden, a pro-abortion Catholic, has since withdrawn the United States' support. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Where Michael talks about the bishops keeping in lockstep with their overlords in Washington, D.C. when it comes to the vaccine. God bless you.